too many protests from Arsenal. And they're in an amazingly familiar position, really, given the success that they've had and the quality in their football. 22 red cards in two and a half years under Arsene Wenger. <laughs> well, they're going to need all that spirit now, all that belief. One every six or seven games. It's really hard to explain, and it's not one that the manager's too keen at about uh, being drawn on either. into a position where they regard a replay as, uh, as something they take quite happily. Kanu is getting stripped, but Manchester United even further down the route to a substitution. Hicks goes off. Solskjaer comes on to make it a three-pronged attack, although uh, his starting position looks as though it's going to be on the left-hand side. It usually is, isn't it, when he plays with Cole and York, Martin? It's something that Alex has played quite a lot at Old Trafford, but Tarsen Wenger's going to respond with a change of his own. This is going to be an interesting one. It's Nicholas and Elka, who's starting to make that long walk from the touch to the touchline. He'll be disappointed, but I don't think he's been at his best today. He's been a little subdued, Nicholas and Elka only really sparked a couple of times in this match. But that's how they're going to operate, the Solskjaer bottom of the screen there, breaking in from the left to support York and Cole. Of his 16 goals this season, seven have come as a substitute, Solskjaer, four of course, and one Extraordinary afternoon at the city ground against Nottingham Forest. Cole. Solskjaer. And as far as the FA Cup's concerned, Solskjaer's most notable contribution this season. Late, late winner against Liverpool. That's the number for you for man of the match. Here is Solskjaer. He's past Dixon. Well, they weren't short of numbers in the centre, United. Well, if the ball had come earlier, Bergkamp was starting in his own half. He tried hard to stay onside, Dennis Bergkamp. He, when the ball wasn't played when he wanted it, he tried to bend his run, but his momentum just took him on. Quite clearly offside. Here's Neville, Harry Neville, that is, to butt. Still no sign of Paul Scholes, who's never actually set foot on the pitch in an FA Cup semi-final. There's been a substitute not used in 95 and uh, 96, and he's in that situation again today. I think with Button Keane doing so well, Mark, as well today. That's central midfield, Alex can have no complaints about how those two have played. Yes, but for someone to get a goal for yeah, you in a I know, crucial time. And that's why this man's on. Yes, he shaded goals, I suppose, in that decision. <laughs> Gary Neville. Manchester United should hold the whip hand here against ten men. Gary Neville. That's a good idea. Yeah, he's just going to bide a bit of time. David Seaman, when that happens, he doesn't have many options. He doesn't want to hold the ball. He doesn't just want to punt it up there, give it to Stam and Neville as he's done now, and then it's just coming straight back. It's all shot. There's space here for Philip Neville. 
wasn't a great choice. Oh, he heads it into the danger area. Adams gets to it bravely. Carla, also with courage and character. Cleared by Winterburn and Arsenal. Regroup. Well, when you're down to ten men, you don't half need one at your front man, and it's now Dennis Bergkamp to try and get hold of the ball, to try and bide your time, just give you a breather. York, Cole, that's Kings Winterberg, but the Arsenal have only partially cleared it. Solskjaer. Philip Neville. Talking about the best defence in the country, the best defence in all the major European leagues when you talk about Arsenal. And there is uh, Winterburn again, but he was rather confused by his own teammate Vieira. Solskjaer. And Arsenal struggling maybe to hold out here until half time in extra time. Youngberg who volleys it away. Well, the one thing about not getting out, Martin, by that, I mean, not being able to clear your box is you can get your back four in, you can get protection in front and make life difficult. And that's what's happening at the moment. Arsenal are camped there. It sometimes becomes difficult. Back up. The turnaround that uh, well known as Arsenal's prime target at the moment. A minute or so before that. Vieira, Cole, after Keane had played a prominent part, Parler, what are his energy levels like? The Amsterdam was uh, given a sight of the ball. David Ellery looks at his watch, checks with his assistants. York might be the chance for one last attack in the first period of extra time from Manchester United. Keown went in and defended with great authority. There's the Nigerian Kanu, who really should be away representing his country this weekend. And also managed to retain his services. Carla. Now this is what I mean about Manchester United, but being camped, Mark. Now they've committed three or four players forward. Might just give United a chance to pick a space or two. And right on the stroke of half time in extra time. Beckham. Not much time to dally here for United. That's what they're doing, though. Yeah, they just lost the momentum of the attack. Pressure by Arsenal and Keown in particular. Kanu. He didn't have the uh, pace to stretch away, but did have the poise to stay on the ball. Youngberg. And Dixon did well to reach it once and twice. Here's Beckham. That's a wonderful tackle. Wonderful defending by Keown. I uh, just showed him a little bit too much, he waited Keown and suddenly he saw it was away from David Beckham. Keane. Arsenal fans are urging the referee to blow for half-time. Philip Neville. This is as though they ran out of ideas for a moment, Manchester United. Still no whistle for the turnaround. But... Key, Beckham, Adams is there, it is half-time, first period of extra time, notable for Arsenal being reduced to ten men by David Ellery, Nelson Vivas, a second bookable offence, it was seen as Andy Gray. Yeah, well, I think the referee does ever so well here, you see Nicky Buck wins the tackle and then he just pops the ball away and looks to run in behind Vivas, 
The left elbow comes up, straight into the United player's face. The referee, unlike you and I, hadn't followed the ball. We watched to see what was happening. I don't think Bivas can have many arguments, Martin. Well, 15 minutes to survive, really, that's the way Arsenal would look at it. Not a lot Arsene Wenger can do, Martin, except trust his side. It's, he knows it'll be 15 minutes of probably constant defending, so he's got to trust these lads, certainly the back four and goalkeeper. Uh, well, they know what it's all about. But this will be a huge test for them in these circumstances. For Alex, he knows what can I do to win it. What can I do to just get a chink in their armour? To give my, one of my players a chance to for a bit of glory to take us through the final. That's what he's thinking. Well, if you scored it on the points, if you like, Manchester United would be well, well ahead. If you score it on players on the pitch, Manchester United are ahead. But that matters, it remains 0-0 with 15 minutes to go. We will play next Wednesday if it stays that way. Staged here. Carnival. Arsenal thinking a bit more than just survival with uh, Ray Parler. Vieira. Yeah. Well, by Solskjaer. There's going to be in no hurry to uh, restart the game. Any extra seconds that they can salvage. Gratefully received. Amazing the extra time flies in, Mark. Really does go quickly when you're playing in it. So United, I guess it will race by for Arsenal. <laughs> the second will feel like a minute, I guess. Bird camp, but not too much has come off for him today. Last half. When you're 10 men, you don't want to be flicking it. Possession is all. The name of the game for Arsenal at the moment, keeping the ball, eating the clock. We've got the players that can do that, Canu, Youngberg and Bergkamp are all very good on the ball. So no need for Dennis Bergkamp to give it away needlessly. I think now what Manchester United went through uh, against Juventus, a real fight to the finish to get an equaliser there. How much that might have drained the resources. Certainly Arsenal getting on the ball uh, quite regularly in these early minutes of the second period of extra time. Well, that's what I mean, two minutes now is raced by. Let's see if we, you know, United have hardly had a touch of the ball. Youngberg. <laughs> Running three kicks. Frustrating Manchester United. An excellent start for Arsenal at the beginning of this second half. Do with a free kick in these circumstances. I'm make sure that whatever happens, you don't put the ball too cheaply back to the opposition. It's a delivery by Winterberg. Burkamp! Oh, what a ball, that's what you do with it, Mark. You pick out a peach of a pass. <laughs> Nigel Winterberg. Lovely ball into Dennis Burkamp. Perfect for him to screen it away from Stam. Now it's Beckham. Philip Neville. Cole. This is Solskjaer. They're going to be careful with their challenges. Referee was very, very well placed. And here's Parler. Kanu through the centre. Well, he he wants off that kick. beats the ground in frustration. Yeah. He thought he was just caught as he just checked on the ball. Beckham. Now York. I'll give it to Buck, but uh, being played in front of Arsenal, they'll be happy with that. Neville in the position for a cross. 
deflection made it a little bit more difficult for Adams. And to burn there again. And yielding. And Lundberg felt that he might have been just clipped up. Kane. Well, Keown wasn't looking initially at where the danger was coming from, but he soon got his sights set. Great clearance. He had a quick look to see where Andy Cole was, Mark. That's what he was trying to do. And then he picked up the flight of the ball late, but picked it up well. He's done a tremendous uh, amount of work, Nicky Butt. And then uh, this has gone for Arsenal this time. Well, we're just looking. Paul Scholes has had the call. Jesper Blomqvist has had the call from the dugout. Scholes' his tracksuit's coming off. He's going to get some part in this semi-final. And wouldn't it just be like that young man to pop up with a match winner? Well, I think it never worried enough by Bergkamp's presence into uh, whacking it out of play. That's what I mean about front man. That's what it's all about for Dennis now. Not about flicking it here and back heeling it there, it's about grasping his socks off, getting a little breather for his defenders by doing what he did just there. Winterberg. Winterberg. Right to Winterburn again. Well, the best thing about that will take a little bit of retrieving. For Manchester United, Paul Scholes has put the tracksuit top back on again. Well, I think we're hearing from downstairs, Martin, that Alex had forgotten that Phil Neville's on as a substitute. <laughs> he, was, he was looking to make a double substitution there and realised he couldn't. So now it's a choice, it's Blomqvist or Scholes, not both. It looks like Paul Scholes, ready to go. <laughs> Philip Neville came on for Irwin. Gary Neville. York. Patient approach work from Manchester United. Arsenal well represented. Near to their own penalty area, but they conceded a free kick. Still not yet the signal for Skulls to come on. Is the signal for Beckham to come across and take the free kick. Understandably moving wearily towards it. <laughs> Skulls for Cole. And we can only envy Manchester United the calibre of play that they can bring on in these circumstances. of what he did when he came on in the San Siro recently. Beckham takes, and Keown the highest. Jonsson, but... Oh, it's Coles, and maybe it came just too early in his uh, little appearance here as he finally arrives in an FA Cup semi-final. Well, I think he was looking to pass. I wondered if he'd have just controlled it, Mark, had he been on a bit longer and hit it himself. We look to just feed a pass through. It's Keane. Not the second time. Dixon sorted that. Halfway through the second period of extra time. And there's Martin Keane. and he's made a marvellous contribution. Yeah. Gary Neville, no challenge from Arsenal in this part of the pitch. Try and close down now. Aim for Solskjaer. Oh, he's reached it brilliantly, and that put Tony Adams in trouble in the centre. As Dwight York looked to convert a most unlikely cross here. Oh, fantastic retrieving from the substitute. Oh, he 
Solskjaer manages to hook it back. I'm not sure what Tony Adams does, Martin. Does he just miss the ball? Is he deliberately trying to let this go? I don't think he can be. Looked to me like he's missed his header. And that took Dwight York by surprise. Parler. Just bounced off Stamp. Bergkamp interested. And his technique is not particularly good in those circumstances. And he's given away a foul himself. I wouldn't give that linesman too much stick, Dennis. He didn't do your favorite, have to do your favourite first half. <laughs> and that remains the uh, major talking point from the match to this point. It's goals. Frightened of barreling into Adams either. Contact. It ran away from him. A few more seconds passed, though. Winston will be a little happier with the draw if that's the way it finishes and the chance to play better. And they can play a lot better than this in a replay on Wednesday. Yeah, I think Arsene Wenger would be absolutely delighted the way the second half of extra time has panned out, Martin. I thought they would be under real pressure. They were camped first part period, but they've managed to keep possession of the ball at times and keep United at pretty much at arm's length for much of it. It's a lovely ball reversed by Butt to Keane. And he waits for Philip Neville. And that's not to draw up their battle lines on the edge of the area again. Solskjaer. So many uh, potential match winners here. Manchester United. And that was a bad ball from Solskjaer. He really gave Gary Neville a problem, and that's the oh, same, Sean. Gary Neville reacted angrily there. But right at the start. I tell you, I think discretion there. Mm. I have to say, Martin, it was an act of descent, slamming the ball into the ground. He's getting away with this. Was it an act of descent at a teammate? Define it. <laughs> Bergkamp, Jungberg darting through, Frederick Jungberg! Oh, well played, Schmeichel. By far the most difficult moment he's had in the match, and it's come right at the end of the match. Well, that's a great save, but I think Jungberg's touch and it cost him a chance. I thought the quality of the pass made it that he didn't need to take anything other than just finish it. There was no need to control it for me. It's a brilliant run from Jungberg and a superb pass, but it's there he hits it. The touch just gets him too close to the goalkeeper. And there's no need. It's played in the right foot just over him, around him. But you see how close that touch took him to the goalkeeper. It was Bergkamp's best moment of the match as well. The pass. It might be better here now he's given offside. Well, he'd rather belatedly given offside. That's. <laughs> Flag took an eternity to go up. Looked offside to me, you can see he is, but the flag's not up, then it goes. Oh, that's come down to Beckham York! Well, both could have won the match. He took the words from my mouth. Within 30 seconds, we've had well, two of the best chances of the match. Adams comes and gets involved with Winterburn, perhaps he shouldn't have done. It's a snap chance for Dwight York, a little angle. David Seaman did well to get pretty close to him again and make it awkward. But Jungberg and York, within a matter of 30 seconds, could have won the match for their teams. Kicked off Bergkamp, Johnson got a bang in the face. Here comes Roy Parler. 
Oh, can Kanu we see? calling for the cross. He was unmarked because Johnson had just lost his concentration for a moment. He's got it back now, although the ball rather bounced off his knees. Still a bit shaken up, Ronnie Johnson. Dixon. Vieira. Dixon's ball forward. Bergkamp and Stan. That's a tussle that the referee decides to say. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. We're in the dying embers of this semi-final at Villa Park. Skulls just drifting away to be able to make the header. Cleared by Keo for the umpteenth time. Here's Skulls again. York. Solskjaer, but, and it's Dixon, he shut the door again. That Arsenal back line. Vieira. It's time added on at the end of extra time here. Kanu. Oh, Bergkamp! Dennis Bergkamp! It was Gary Neville. The rescued Manchester United. A thrilling finale. Arsenal with ten men. Twice now. In the last couple of minutes. Getting into a position where winning the game was on. Could it be a third time? Full time. <laughs> we come back to Villa Park on Wednesday. Bergkamp suddenly switched on in the last few minutes of extra time and nearly took himself to an FA Cup final. Jungberg from Bergkamp's pass had the chance.